In this video, I will explain what is an eigenspace and how to find an eigenspace dimension and basis for eigenspace. Eigenspace means it is the collection of eigenvectors associated with each eigenvalue. If eigenvalue is lambda, then its eigenspace is denoted as E lambda. Now, one uh, example, find eigenspace of each eigenvalue of the matrix A equal to this is the given matrix. Also find dimension and one of the basis for eigenspace. So first we need eigenvalue. So to find the eigenvalue, we need to find out the characteristic equation of the matrix A, which is given by determinant of A minus lambda into I equal to 0. So for a 3 by 3 matrix, this characteristic polynomial is given directly by lambda cube minus trace of A into lambda square plus a11 plus A22 plus A33 into lambda minus determinant of A equal to 0. So trace of A, let us find out that means sum of diagonal elements 1 plus 1 plus 1 which is 3. Determinant of A, evaluate this determinant along first row first column 1 into 1 minus 0 which is equal to 1. Now you have to find out A11, A plus A22 plus A33 that is cofactors of diagonal entries. So delete first row, first column. You get the minor of the first element. So this determinant you have to evaluate which is 1 minus 0, 1. Then to find cofactor you have to multiply with the sign of each element. So for all diagonal elements sign is positive. So therefore no change in cofactors which is same as minus so it is 1. Similarly delete second row second column you will get 1 0 0 1 determinant its value is 1. Third row third column determinant is 1 0 1 1 so its value is 1. So when you add all these we will get the value 3. So let us substitute that here lambda cube minus 3 into lambda square plus 3 into lambda minus 1 equal to 0. This is of the form lambda minus 1 whole cube a minus b whole cube formula equal to 0. Therefore lambda equal to possible values of lambda are only 1 that is 1 repeated 3 times because it is a cubic polynomial hence we will have same root repeated 3 times. Now I have to find out the eigenspace. Eigenspace is collection of eigenvectors. So I have to find out eigenvectors of the eigenvalue lambda equal to 1. So for that I need the system a minus lambda i into x equal to 0. I have to find out the solution space of this system that gives you the eigenspace. So a minus lambda i let us find out from the diagonal elements you have to subtract 1. This is because a minus lambda is 1 now i into x equal to 0. So from the diagonal elements you subtract 1 so you will get 1 minus 1 0 0 0 then 1 0 1 0 0 0. So from diagonal entries you subtract 1 rest all elements say then x i will take it as x1 x2 x3 because it is a 3 by 3 matrix so there are 3 coordinates is equal to 0. Now to find out the eigenspace you have to reduce this matrix to row echelon form or row reduced to row echelon form. Any form is fine. Now it is already just you have to interchange first row and second row. So we will get 1 0 1 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 into x1 x2 x3 which is equal to 0. Hence now you have to count the number of free variables that gives you the dimension of eigenspace because dimension of eigenspace is called a geometric multiplicity of the given eigenvalue lambda. So now there is a pivot in the first column, there is no pivot in the second column, there is no pivot in the third column. That means these x2, x3, these two variables are free variables and x1 only is non-free variable. Therefore now uh, when you multiply you will get x1 plus x3 equal to 0 where x2, x3 are free variables 
hence you can take any value for them so i will take x2 is equal to k1 and x3 is equal to k2 where k1 k2 belongs to r some real numbers hence the solution x1 becomes minus x3 from this equation so which is equal to minus k2 therefore eigen space associated with the eigen value uh, 1 is given by set of all vectors of the form x1 x2 x3 which is nothing but where I have taken this x is nothing but eigenvector associated with eigenvalue lambda equal to 1. Now I have uh, obtained the solution for x1, x2, x3 that is as minus k2, k1 and k2 where k1, k2 belongs to R. So this is the eigenspace. These all are eigenvectors corresponding to the eigenvalue lambda equal to 1. Go on giving different values for k1 and k2. Like if k1 is 1, k2 is 1, minus 1, 1, 1. This, that is one eigenvector. Now to find dimension and basis, dimension you can directly say number of free variables that is 2. Okay, so dimension of E1 is equal to 2, which is same as actually geometric multiplicity of the eigenvalue lambda equal to 1. Uh, dimension of E1 is equal to 2 and I want a basis. So basis can be calculated directly. So to find the basis, I will take K1 common, then here you will have K1 common 0, 1, 0. Okay, plus k2 here you will get minus 1 0 1 such that k1 k2 belongs to r that gives you one of the basis 0 1 0 minus 1 0 1 so you will have basis equal to one of the set you can get basis 0 1 0 comma minus 1 0 1 this is basis of the given eigenspace e1 which is associated with the eigenvalue lambda equal to 1.